We started build, building our pitching routine from one knee, isolating the upper body, rotating the torso, finishing with a nice flat back, your pitching hand to your opposite ankle, shoulder nice and rounded when we throw, glove up in front. What we're going to do now is bring the athletes up on their feet and start incorporating their legs into the same motion. Now, a lot of similarities to what we did when we were hitting earlier. You're going to see, we're going to do a check of the feet, the knees, make sure his hands are in the right position, deep breath, and then we're going to go into a throwing process. So I'm going to have Vinny demonstrate. We're going to see his feet are nice and wide apart. He's going to check his knees, bend, them at the, bend his knees a little bit, nice and relaxed through his torso, shoulders nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath. Now, as Vinny splits his hands and gets ready to throw, he's going to shift his weight slightly back. So go ahead and do that, Vinny. Split and slightly back. Again, if you notice, we have the ball, his head, and the glove all in line with his target. Again, this glove is going to turn up and become a steering wheel or a pointer to help in your accuracy. We also want to make sure this thumb is down. He's almost in a waving position, like he's waving goodbye, wave backwards. See there? There you go. Nice job, Vin. Okay, now as Vinny goes to throw, if we look at this position, real similar to the hitting position we got in earlier. If we simply took Vinny's hands and put him back here, he'd be in his loaded position, just like in batting. So you can see the similar body positions between hitting and between throwing. As Vinny goes to start his throwing motion, he's going to turn his glove up, and he's going to drive his back knee down a little bit. There you go. Not all the way, just half. Good. Get that heel up. Nice. Now as he goes to throw, the glove's going to stay in the center of his body. Keep going, keep going. Back flat. Notice we end up with a nice flat back. His head should be up. Thank you. And his glove's in the center of his body. What we're doing here is we're learning how to use our whole body throwing the ball, not just your arm, using legs, using torso, using shoulders, and really finishing with a good follow through right here. When we spoke of hitting earlier, we talked about consistency. We talked about being in control of your body. When you're in control of your body, you control the bat, easier to hit the ball. Very much the same thing with pitching. When you're in control of your body, easy to control the ball, easy to pitch accurately. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the drill that we just worked on, we're going to add an element of balance to it, where the pitcher is forced to control that core area, forced to balance themselves and be completely in charge of their body. So Vinny, I want you to start off again, check your feet, bend your knees, nice bend at the waist, good athletic position that he's in. Now go ahead and split your hands and rock back. Okay, again, we'll notice nice loaded position, real similar to our hitting position right before we swing the bat. Vinny, go ahead and turn your glove up. Now this time when Vinny throws the ball, he's going to follow through, your head's going to be up, and he's going to see if we can get his back leg up in the air. What we're going to look for, it's almost like a seesaw. As his head and chest go forward, you're going to see that back leg go up, creating some good leverage, some good momentum, and allowing him to throw the ball with the least amount of effort. So go ahead, nice and slow, go through it, all the way through. Leg up, that's all right, stay there, I'll help you. Hold your balance, head up, head up, and in that position right there. So now what we're doing when we start working this in is that a pitcher is learning how to push off with his back leg, pushing that chest down and forward, driving the ball with his whole body mass and not just his arm. One of the things that I found out too is a lot of pitching injuries come from weak legs. And if you can see when Vinny does, Vinny, go ahead and do that again. Rock back and push forward and pitch. Right there, that position. For Vinny to achieve that position there, his hamstring, the front hamstring muscle, has to be flexible and strong in order to support that position. If it's not, what we get is a lot of young pitchers, they stand forward, they stand up here because they don't have the flexibility in their hamstring, they end up damaging their shoulders. A lot of shoulder injuries come from weak hamstrings, not flexible hamstrings. So this drill right here will allow your hamstrings to get flexible and strong, allow your body to see what it's like to be balanced, Core balance, core control. If you're in charge, you can throw strikes. When we worked on the swing earlier, we talked about building a routine, a consistent start every single time. So now we're going to add that to these pitching drills. We're also going to start putting all the elements together that we've worked on in the previous drills and get ourselves a really good, solid pitching motion. Now, a great routine to start for pitchers, for young pitchers especially, is to have them start out in a stretch motion, which means they're in a good balanced position to start. Have your hands at your side. Vinny's foot will be on the pitching rubber, his feet will be nice and wide, knees bent, he takes a good deep breath. Now the very first thing he's going to do is come set. Okay, move your feet in a little closer, Vin. There you go. Nice set position, nice relax. Notice the position of his shoulders, nice rounded shoulders, his elbows are real relaxed. We don't have any tightness, any tension in his body. We're in a really relaxed position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to synchronize the top half of his body with the bottom half. We're going to link them up together 
right from the beginning of the motion to allow him to get some good power when he delivers the ball. In order to do this, we're going to do a drill of repetition where he's going to lift his knee and bring it straight back down three times. So come into a set position. Now, watch his hands and his knee will link up early. Go ahead and lift your hands and knee. One, two, three, down. Now slide forward. When he comes out of that, if you notice he's in a good, powerful position. Just like the load when we're hitting, he's loaded up here, weight back, ball, head and glove. Again, all consistent positions. Now as he goes to throw the ball, he's going to turn his glove up, throw. His back leg's going to come up and he's going to follow through, just like that. So what we did there is we linked up all of the different pieces, added a balance position with his knee. I'm going to show you that one more time. And what I want you to do is take a look. You don't want your, your pitchers might not be able to do this from the beginning, but it's a good skill to eventually acquire. When he comes down with his knee, he does not touch the ground. That's the kind of balance we're looking for. So bring that, come set, up, come set, bring knee and hands up, down, up, down. Notice no touching, down, now he slides. If you can get your pitchers at that kind of balance, they're going to be in complete control of their body. Throwing strikes is going to be a breeze. Now we have two pitchers out here. We have Vinny and we have Jake. We're going to take that drill that we just worked with Vinny. We're going to have a right-hander do it and a left-hander do it. And what I like to do when I have my pitchers work as a, as a tan in tandem is work through that drill very deliberately. So they're going to go through each step. When they come out of their leg kick, they're going to hold that position and check to make sure their weight is back, that they're in a good balanced position. Then when they deliver the ball, they're going to have their chest come down, their back flat, and that back leg come up. The key here is not to throw the ball hard. Whenever we're teaching pitching, the ball is probably the least important part of this. We want to have good technique, great form, consistent delivery. If we take the ball out of the picture, the pitchers focus on their body. Again, they're in control. If they're in control, they're going to control the ball. So let's start it up. So come set. Up with your knee. Down. Up. Down. Slide and hold it. Good balance position. Deliver the ball. Nice finish. Good. Jake wants you to do the same thing. Come set. Knee up. Down. Up. Down. Slide. And go. Just like that. And again, we don't want to focus on throwing the ball hard. The focus wants to be on making a good delivery, nice balance, in complete control. And deliver the ball. Good. One more time. Set. Up. Down. Up. Down. Slide. And go. Very nice. Good. Even deliveries. Good consistent throws will result in a lot of consistent strikes. One last time. Slide. And finish up. Nice job, guys. One of the areas that a lot of young coaches, a lot of coaches don't work hard enough on for young players is the ball rotation. And we'll see a lot of times when young players throw the ball, the ball will spin sideways. It'll almost have a curveball type of an effect. A lot of times that comes from when the player takes the ball out of their glove. If you notice a lot of the drills we've done today, when the ball comes out of the glove, we brush the chest, thumbs are coming straight down. When you come back to deliver the ball, your thumb is straight down again. So what I want to work is a little drill where these two guys are going to throw the ball to each other. Notice the position they're in. Again, real consistent positioning. Feet wide, knees bent, little bend at the waist, nice athletic position. Now Vinny's going to take the ball. He's going to have his glove in front of his chest. He's going to hold the ball up. And essentially when he throws this ball, he's going to think about pulling down on the back of the ball. The goal here is to create nice, tight 12 to 6 rotation. So when the ball leaves his hand, it's going to have a true flight through the air. And it's hopefully going to go exactly where he wants it to go. So he's going to pull his hand back a little bit, and he's going to pull down on the back of the ball, bending at the waist a little bit as he does so. Jake's going to do the same. He's going to pull the ball back. And the idea here is to get the, as tight a rotation as you can by pulling down hard on the baseball. A neat little trick that you can try for your players to make sure they do this all right is to take a piece of athletic tape, I mean, I'm sorry, electric tape, and you create a stripe that goes all the way around the baseball. You have the player hold that stripe between their fingers, and as they pull down, we should see a perfect straight line on the baseball for rotation. Once we get the ball back, so we're going to do a couple, couple rounds of just pulling it down with glove in front, okay, pulling that ball down, getting, generating some real good rotation. Good. Now, once we've done a few of those, we're going to add some torso movement. We're going to start getting some torque and some rotation. So this time, Jake is going to take the ball. He's going to rotate back, split his hands with his glove in front, and then throw and again pull down on the back of the ball trying to get nice true spin and pull it straight down just like that. Rotate back, forward, and throw. Bend at the knees a little bit, Vinny, and you'll have it perfect, okay? Turn back and go. Keeping your glove in front of you just like that. 
We're going to generate good true spin, and the flight of the ball is going to stay straight, allowing us to make more accurate throws from the infield, from the catching position, from the out, outfield position, and also from the pitcher's mound. If the ball flies straighter, chances are it's going to be more accurate.